Nowadays, urbanization is developing at high speed. Cities grow, whereas natural spaces decrease significantly. This situation brings in a fragmentation of habitats and a loss of ecological continuities. In the context of sustainable development, preserving biodiversity is the main concern, even in much urbanized places. From an ecological point of view, the urbanization destabilizes the habitats and the species. Urbanization, it's away natural spaces. Every time you build, you put artificial things in nature in contact. Because of the urbanization, the species have less place to live, so the reproduction and the life cycle are impacted. After the Earth Summit in Rio in 1992, the Greenway was taken at the European level. France is the 90th country to establish an ecological network across its territory. The Greenway, which is implemented at the regional level, has been a great success in France since the year 2000. It has been a part of the French law since the Golden One in 2009. The challenge of this project is important and we will show you the main objectives and difficulties of its implementation. The government realized how important the consequences of urbanization were. But what about the citizens? Do they even know what this greenway is? No. No, not at all. No, not at all. I've heard it like that. And what does this greenway mean to you? The way reminds me of a path. I way, I understand. Green for nature and blue for the sky? Blue for the sea? It's maybe an urban planning project? Blue means the sea and green means nature, doesn't it? Well, it's not so clear. We interviewed people involved in the definition of this greenway at the PACA regional scale. We have judged that the concept of isolated nature is no longer valid because it doesn't reflect reality. We could define green corridors as a search for ecological continuity. The aim is to connect white species with other, more or less dense urban zones or agricultural zones. Obviously, all species are involved in the greenway even the most common ones. Now, the Greenway is included in the Ecological Coherence Regional Plan in order to set up urban town planning with the ecological continuities. Still, we have to know which natural spaces are concerned. Do you think that the Bouches du Rhône has enough natural areas? What are they? What? Natural spaces in the Bouches du Rhône? No, there are no green spaces in the Bouches du Rhône. Yes, there is the Saint Bomb. Maybe there are the Camargue and the Saint Victoire. There is also a stony landscape in Marseille with the Calanques. Pierre, c'est les Calanques. In Aix, there are the Parc Saint Mitre, the Parc Jourdan, and the Parc Rimbaud. In Marseille, there are the Parc Borelli and the Parc Chano. There are lots of parks in Marseille. The city of Marseille manages about 640 hectares of green areas like the Lumini Mountains, many urban parks, public gardens and other urban spaces. These areas can be natural, half natural or more artificial. We have counted 54 parks over one hectare. An action plan for biodiversity has been set up since 2012. Wow, I didn't think we had so many natural areas. Is it so important to connect them to each other? Justement, les politiques de la ville ont de plus en city policies will try to manage these areas the best. These parks are part of the greenway, but are they real and genuine nature? Can we talk about biodiversity when referring to city parks? Oui, il y a de la biodiversité. Yes, there is biodiversity. It is not necessarily made up of rare or heritage species but of common species, as we can find, in any garden. Even if these parks don't include the main part of biodiversity, town center parks are citizens and offer a place of relaxation to people. So, that is the context in Bouches-du-Rhône. 
So let's go and see what happened in a small village in Vaux, which is a good example of the Greenway. We are now in roquefort la bédoule Do you believe that next to Marseille, there can be such a nice town? So, we are looking for the Greenway. But where is it? Maybe here? <sighs> I think it's going to be too hard if I'm looking for it just by myself. I'd rather ask the mayor himself to know what he did in his town. Roquefort Abidoul will be the pilot city of the urban conglomeration to reinforce and prevent biological connections between mountains from degradation. It seems that we have large natural spaces and the number is satisfying. So what is the real necessity of such a project? The aim of this project is to preserve these natural spaces and the natural thick corridors. Everybody understands it's as important to preserve nature and biodiversity as cultural heritage. But how can we do it? What species? What habitats? Okay, I understand, but what can you do to connect these areas together? It doesn't seem so easy. In Marseille city centre, we have to connect green spaces between them and no biodiversity in town. Then, we have to connect big mountains to restore biological flux in suburban towns. I think we have to understand the greenway in this way in a big city such as Marseille and its surroundings. We will put in place measures such as wildlife structures. We have a highway and roads and we try to put in place mechanisms which allow biological flows. We will be the first to do this and we will understand how to implement strategies across the city of Marseille. We study the impact of the road infrastructure on species movement, in particular the mortality, where those animal circulation take place. We all have in mind the accidents caused by big mammals crossing the roads. Thanks to studies, we can now characterize the road impacts on species like insects. First, we have to restore the continuities above motorways, railways, and try to build eco-bridges. This is a first step, which is not absolutely satisfactory. Sensitive points in PACA are used to redefine ecological continuities. They are on the coast and in the Rhone Valley, which is densely cultivated. Now, if we want to reconnect areas, we should build less or destroy buildings. To sum up, towns are not aware of the Greenway. It's not legally effective. So what about our opinion? Associations often criticize the time it takes to set up a project effectively. The idea of the Greenway isn't new. When we talk about ecology, there are often investments to be made. For now, there isn't any money dedicated to that. In terms of finance, there is no investment on the green or blue way, but it is done through other operations that are intending to improve forest management and preserve forest, especially under fire. But there is no budget allocated to the Greenway. So, this is a beautiful example of European strategies for the biodiversity protection with no proper realistic application, at least in France. So, what can we expect from this Greenway? We expect a lot from the Greenway and from the implementation of the Ecological Coherence Regional Plan. They should guide the towns towards a better use of space and towards a better understanding of natural stakes. We also want the Greenway to be actually put into force in the town planning documents. Town planning documents have started to take into account the Greenway. 
However, it's a failure because in these documents the Greenway is just taking into account, and that has no legal value. Taking into account is the lowest degree of opposability. In our view, the Greenway has to be compatible with town planning documents and not just taking into account. In this case, it doesn't reflect the reality of how a territory is. Even if it's nice to connect the city to natural areas, we can't forget that garden species can invade natural areas. So, it is important to be aware of the connections which are created. There's work to do, information and awareness efforts, and above all explanation to mayors. Why the Greenway? Why the need to maintain biological flows and ecosystems? So, what is the future of the Greenway? On the other hand, we are hoping because the Haleolo is being voted by the Parliament. We have come up with an amendment to create ecological continuities, which could be used by mayor and communities. This law will make the Greenway concept concrete. In our opinion, this concept doesn't reflect the reality on the field. We have no time to waste. We need to keep existing ecological continuities and try to restore non-existing ones. This is the first test in the environmental field. That's why we are very satisfied. For the moment, we remain cautious about its application. To sum up, the Greenway is a big step for biodiversity management and people are becoming more and more aware of landscape fragmentation issues. Even if there are some difficulties, some efforts have to be made so as to better inform people and convince them of the usefulness and importance of this measure in view of a brighter future. Dream about